This was the third time we'd been attacked by robots like these. It's time to uncover the source and confront their leader. I ask your assistance in stopping this mechanist. You see junk. I see the building blocks of life. Mine in particular. Confrontation awaits. I only hope we both live to see it. Now you'll face the full light of the mechanist. Come, my robots. Let's finish this. It's fun and welcome to the first ever episode of the Automatron DLC for Fallout 4. This is the first DLC and I'm going to be doing a Let's Play of it. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Uh, for those that do not know, I did a Let's Play of Fallout 4 when it first came out and I said that I would be doing a Let's Play of all future DLCs. The first of which is, of course, Automatron. It actually came out earlier than I had imagined. It came out, it was supposed to come out Tuesday, but I'm recording this Monday and I'm in Mountain Time so I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but nevertheless, I did install it, and I did uh, receive a new quest. If we go ahead and go into our pip boy, you shall see it. Here we have Mechanical Menace. Listen to the caravan distress call. You can see a little pip boy animation there. It's a vault boy knocking down uh, an iBot. I just want to see that again. Does it switch back, or do I have to go down here? And there we go. So let's make it some sound, and then shut up. Knock, knock, knock. Thing gets destroyed. All right, now I forgot to actually change the audio settings uh, to put the radio up. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's go into our radio and take a listen to that caravan distress frequency. This is an emergency broadcast. Our caravan's under attack by hostile robots and needs some serious help. We're just east of Watts Consumer Electronics. If anyone in the vicinity can come help, now's the time. Ada, loop this message. Yes, sir. Okay. Looks like that's it. It's probably going to start looping again, I would imagine. There broadcast. we go. Let's go ahead and shut that off and also turn the radio back off. The reason that I do this is just because if you have the radio on in YouTube videos, a lot of the times there will be copyright strikes on your videos because of the in-game music, which nobody wants. So let's go ahead and take a look at that quest again. We have Mechanical Menace still, of course. Find the caravan. Well, let's take a look at where that is on the map. We have actually been to Watts Consumer Electronics and it's right next to it, so there we go. Okay, that's kind of what I expected to find as soon as we, as soon as we were gonna land here. There's a whole bunch of gunfire going off. We have a new enemy type right off the bat. A whole bunch of them it looks like. One called a swarm bot. And I'm trying to read these names, but they keep switching. All of these cars are exploding, so let's get the hell away from them. Okay, we have a cyber mech swarm bot. But I have a legendary shotgun. So wow, looks like that thing's that thing explodes into a little mini nuke when it dies. Let's see what it has. Two missiles. I was expecting some components, but I guess not. Okay, we have a lot more. I think we've already seen a swarm bot. Uh, this is on normal difficulty. A servo mech junk bot. This blue thing on the right is the thing from the trailer, of course. And it's obviously on our team, so let's help it take care of these guys. We have one more, and then we will actually level up. So, where'd you go? I lost track of you for a second there. All right, let's go ahead and level up. It's been actually a while since I've leveled up. We are now level 48. The reason I'm probably a relatively lower level to a lot of other people is because I pretty much burned out of this game as soon as I was done making videos for it, as soon as I was done with the Let's Play. Didn't really touch it at all after I was done with that. Um, but I did do pretty much everything in the entire game, every main quest. The only thing I still have not, do, still have not done other than get the... Um, the uh, Vault Boy bobbleheads, because I'm still saving those for some Fallout Force and Treasures, is 
do all of the companion quests since it takes so much time to line those up. But anyways, let's see what we have. I might just keep this one for off camera because I haven't taken a look at the perk chart in a very long time. Reloading guns cost no action points and vats. That one sounds pretty good, but I think I was actually putting points just into the, the overall special points. Let's see, we have max agility, max intelligence, max charisma. Uh, I think I might just start putting points into perception, but let's see if we can put anything into any of these. We probably can, but I'm going to go ahead and just put this point into perception and opt for the boring option because I want to have a high perception. All right, let's loot all these guys. 308 rounds. Okay, we'll talk to that robot in a second. Here we have Jackson, who has Jackson's holotape, as well as some bottle caps, some 38 rounds. Burnt technical manual. I don't think that's important. Black vest and slacks. Not sure if that's unique, but I'll take it just in case. And then we will also take the military grade circuit board, the duct tape, all of this stuff. Let's see, and there's gotta be some more ro robots around. It looks like they don't have too much other than ammo. Yeah, I'm not seeing much at all. Who do we have here? Liza, I think that was mentioned. She was mentioned in the uh, broadcast, right? Okay, not too much on her, but we'll take that stim pack, all the ammo in that box. We will take the Mr. Handy fuel. Anything else in this tank that I'm missing? Doesn't look like it. Let's just scour the area one last time. There were a lot of explosions, obviously, and a lot of dead robots all over the place, so they're gonna be easy to miss. We have a whole bunch here. Cyber Mech iBot, Mechanist Holotape, okay. Laser Photon Exciter? Not sure if these are weapons or just new components. Fusion Cell Robot Repair Kit, that'll probably come in handy. Robot Repair Kits repair robot companions downed in combat and can be favorited for quick use. Humans cannot use robot repair kits on themselves. All right, so a new sort of aid item. Military grade circuit board. Usually when new, by the way, just wanna preface this. Preface, preface this Let's Play with usually when new DLC comes out or new content comes out for a game that I've spent a lot of time in, I genuinely, generally try not to look at any of the uh, footage or information other than the actual trailer. So I've only seen the trailer. I have not really looked into anything. I like to be surprised basically. So if I sound like I don't know much of anything about any of these components or any of these uh, new enemies or anything like that, it's because I intentionally try to avoid any and all information. But anyways, almost done looting these guys. Just a couple more here. Hertz? Sounds like a unique name, but I'm going to assume it's not. Another person, Zoe's Diary, 36 rounds. Just realized we probably should have looked at all of this stuff uh, as we got it, because I'm going to forget what all of this stuff is called, but maybe not. Enhanced targeting card on Turing. And some steel. Who do we have here? Shades. Doesn't seem to have anything unique. Wrap around goggles. These are probably all just things added with the DLC, or maybe they were already in the main game. I don't really concern myself with things that are not unique. All right, I think that's going to be it. Um, did not survive the attack. Thank you for assisting. I was certain to meet my end here as well. Are you okay? Physically, the damage is minor. But I am registering sadness and anger at the loss of my friends. It may sound strange coming from a robot, but they were my family. Again, I thank you for your efforts. I know they would have thanked you as well. What kind of robot are you? I am heavily modified, but at my core, I am an Assaultron. My name is Ada. This was the third time we've been attacked by robots like these. Even with the weapon and detection upgrades Jackson gave me, I was unable to defend them. Who's Jackson? Jackson was the leader of this caravan. He had a great mind for technology. In many ways, he is my creator. He installed all my current upgrades. Unfortunately, they were not enough to protect them from the robots. You're upgraded? Yes, modified using a robot workbench based on prototype schematics. The workbench allows for a wide range of robot modifications. Perhaps if I had more sentry bot based defenses, I could have successfully defended my friends against those robots. Tell me about these robots. They roam the Commonwealth and claim to be restoring order. We've seen them fighting raiders, but they've also attacked innocents, settlers, merchants, and caravans like ours. 
We knew we ran the risk of encountering more of these hostile robots if we stayed in the Commonwealth. If only we had made the decision to leave. So why did you end up staying? Our caravan specialized in mechanical repairs and trade. The Commonwealth has an abundance of salvage that would benefit our business. It was a calculated risk. You couldn't have known something like this would happen. The probability of attack was high. I should have forced our departure. In recompense, I will seek justice for my friends and stop these robots from causing further harm. It's time to uncover the source and confront their leader, the Mechanist. Who's the Mechanist? The only information I have comes from the iBot broadcasts. The false claims of peace and justice. The only certainty is that these robots bring only death. You have shown willingness to aid others. I ask that you please assist me in stopping this Mechanist. In return, I can give you the schematics to build your own robot workbench, so you have additional resources in this undertaking. You want revenge, don't you? I admit my goal is twofold. Stopping the Mechanist both protects the Commonwealth and allows me to avenge my fallen friends. I won't rest until I see this threat dissolved. I owe it to them. Now, we last saw a group of the Mechanist robots at the General Atomics factory. You may find information there that will lead us to the Mechanist. I will follow and assist with your permission. Are you sure you're up for it? Yes. I will not rest until the Mechanist is stopped. Yeah, let's go, Ada. General Atomics has valuable salvage. Chances are high the robots are still there. Alrighty! Easiest quest completed ever. We actually got an achievement. Mechanical Menace. Let's take a look at that. Pretty nice. 20G, complete Mechanical Menace. Alrighty. Okay, it appears that we are over encumbered, which is very unfortunate. Uh, let's go ahead. Hold on a second. Started a new threat. Investigate General Atomics Factory. Like all these new unique pip -boy animations. Okay, so we got a whole bunch of stuff, though, in our miscellaneous section. I'm going to try and look through these pretty fast. There were some journals. There were some hollow tapes. Uh, let me go ahead and find those. Okay, so here we have one, Jackson's holotape. Let's go ahead and play that. We ran into some hostile robots today. They were pieced together, like the ones we've been making in that workbench. Weird thing is, one of them was spouting something about the Mechanist. That they're here to protect the Commonwealth. Yeah, protected my ass. We managed to lose them. Those things were dangerous. Shades and I went back and picked up an arm we shot off. Whoever's making these things is an expert. Maybe even be on my level. I'll have to look into upgrading Ada and Hertz for some better protection. Ah, so the unique robots were these guys' robots. Okay, let me go ahead and find the other informational things that we've picked up. Alright, we also have a mechanist holotape. Alrighty, and I believe we have just a journal remaining. Or sorry, it's actually a diary. Zoe's diary. Okay, warning. If your name is not Zoe and you are reading this, then you are dead. Well, I'm afraid you're mistaken, Zoe, because I'm actually alive reading your diary. Ramblings. Oh boy, this is going to be long. Okay. I kind of don't want to end the episode just reading all this stuff, but at the same time, I want to experience everything this DLC has to offer. So I decided to start keeping a diary in this little holotape. I thought it'd be cool to only update it at different terminals, kind of like my own little collection, although half the time I have no idea where we are. Navigation's not really my thing. I leave that up to the bots. Today we stopped by this decent looking salvage yard. It's 
impressively not gross and overrun with ferals like the one, like the last one. Liza helped me fix up this terminal so I could get down to business. Anyway, I think Ada and I got some pretty good defenses set up for now. We have enough supplies for a bit, so I imagine we'll give this place a pretty good once over. I really need to find some good things to trade if I want a new pair of gloves anytime soon. Raiders are dumb. Raiders are dumb. I'd like to think that people like us are safe based on just their stupidity alone. They tried to steal something off Porter last night, a goddamn luggage-toting sentry bot. Porter wasted two of them. Another one set off a tripwire trip wire while running away, and the last one, we think, tripped and just impaled himself on his own knife. That's why you don't run with sharp, sharp objects. Of course, waking up to gunfire isn't very cool either. I think it's time we moved on. Who protects the Protectron? Pretty sure that's a reference to who watches the watchers, or the watchmen, sorry. We found this pretty cool factory with some decent Protectron parts, so Jackson is all hell-bent on making us a little bodyguard robot. He's been working on it with shades all day. I'm thinking of naming it Hertz. I can't wait. I love Protectrons. Protect and serve. Oh, and totally authorized to use deadly force 24-7. In the meantime, Ada and I set up the usual defenses, and then she helped me dig around for fuses and stuff. Not that I'm lazy, but robots are the best when you don't do heavy lifting or feel like carrying stuff around. Seriously? So here we are at this rundown mom and pop repair store when we find this trader hiding in the closet. He said he thought we might be raiders and just hid in there for an entire day and night. <coughs> and yeah, it's as gross as you might think because closets don't have toilets. Or toilet paper for that matter. Wonderful. Anyway, he says... He said we're pretty near this area called the Commonwealth that we might want to check out. Said it's got a few decent places for trading as well as an old General Atomics factory. I think Jackson's all excited at the idea of upgrading Turing. That old Mr. Handy has seen better days. And finally, shopping spree. I feel a cough coming on, so I'm just going to go ahead and get it out. <coughs> there we go. You're not going to believe it, but we stopped in a department store. It's like a dream come true. I already found some new gloves and boots, not to mention a pair of sunglasses that will make Shades owe me huge favors. I'm pretty sure I can get him to take all my night watches for at least a week to get these babies. Turing has the rest of the route charted to the Commonwealth. We also heard there's a place there called Diamond City, but yeah, not what you think. Apparently it's some sort of old-timey sports stadium. Could be fun, though. It'd be nice to check in with another large settlement soon. And that is it for Zoe's Diary. I'm going to go ahead and go through my inventory and make sure we didn't miss anything else important. I'm also going to drop stuff to enable me to walk around. I will see you guys in a split second. All right, so we still only have 10 more units of weight, which I really don't like. But we also got the Laser Photon Exciter, which is actually a mod. Very interesting. Let's take a look at the quest, shall we? A new threat, investigate General Atomics Factory. Uh, I think we will head over there, but before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and go back and drop all of the junk that I have in my inventory uh, back at Sanctuary. All righty. I have fast traveled to, I'm not actually sure, Gwinnett Brewery. And there is the General Atomics Factory. Actually, pretty darn close. Let's head right on over. I guess we need to go down here. Oh, no, never mind. It's like 80 meters in this direction. Well, hopefully Ada can swim. I don't see how she would, considering she's a, a robot. But hopefully she'll be able to get through all of this stuff as well. But I think we all know there's some Bethesda magic in that she'll appear just right next to us. All right. And before us stands the General Atomics factory ada wait i saw her somewhere she must be over there somewhere in the distance well this is a sneaking character so let's head inside Trying to hear what they're saying. Oh, okay. We're just going to get right in. Wow. All right. Well, so much for sneak. How many actually? Okay. Goodbye, swarm bot. 10 millimeter rounds and a Saltron left arm. I think we want that. New mods available at Robotic. Okay. So that's. Oh, my God. They tore me up fast. All right, let's try that again, and this time we will remain in sneak, although we got found out. Yeah, we're getting found out extremely fast. Because there must be someone over here. Now, this character is fully decked out for sneaking, but kind of sucks if they find you out immediately. Um, should be able to get a bead. There we go. 
Okay. That's one guy down. We are still in C. A to take all of the brunt. Okay, I think we're just gonna throw a grenade right there. Oh, right, the swarm bots. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my god, these guys do so much damage to you. Luckily, we have over 215 stim packs. This is on normal difficulty, by the way. But it feels like it's not. It feels like it's on a much higher difficulty. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so that took a couple of tries. These guys do a lot, 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 lot of damage to you. So, I'm not really sure how we're going to tackle that. But I was able to clear out most of the robots. You can see there's still a lot left. But I've cleared out all the ones in the immediate vicinity. I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. I have a feeling this DLC will be kind of short, just because I feel like they've put more of an emphasis on building robots rather than the actual story aspect. But then again, I could be dead wrong. But either way, either way we're going to end this episode here, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.